Hello class, um, due to Irma, um, I've decided to, uh, to not do our regular schedule on the class Thursday evening uh, because it really looks like a, uh, uh, a record-breaking storm, very dangerous, and uh, I want to give people a chance to uh, deal with things that might be more important to them as Irma draws closer to us. So I am posting some YouTube videos uh, instead of holding the class on Thursday evening. But what I want to do here in this first video uh, is to uh, look at the homework problems that I am assigning uh, to give to you uh, on Thursday to be due on the following week. So let me look at these homework problems and let me go through uh, the techniques for solving the problem so that you can do them. Okay, they're both problems about computing the value of pi using a recursive formula. Now, recursion is where you uh, produce an estimate of some parameter. You take that estimate and then you execute some function, some operation using that estimate, and then the result is that it generates a new estimate which you then use again by putting into that function or operation to generate yet another estimate. So you keep generating a new estimate from the prior estimate and uh, hopefully improving uh, the, uh, the accuracy of the estimate. Okay, so the first problem has to do with a method proposed by Archimedes of Syracuse uh, to find the value of the number pi. A pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle divided by the diameter of a circle. And what Archimedes did was he said, well, if I can figure out how to compute the perimeter of a regular polygon, where that regular polygon approximates the circle, and I make that regular polygon look more and more like a circle, then the value I'm getting for the perimeter uh, should help me estimate the circumference of the circle and determine the value of pi. So here is the, uh, the first problem in the homework. And so let me explain what these, th what these expressions, uh, what these numbers are doing here. Uh, and uh, Sn is an estimate for the side of a regular polygon. Now Archimedes starts his estimation process using a hexagon. So I have a hexagon drawn here. Here we go. And uh, the hexagon has a side of length one. Now hexagon by its nature, you can make a hexagon by sticking together six equilateral triangles, just like I've shown right here. And we can draw a circle through each of the vertices on the hexagon. And we can estimate the circumference of the circle by computing the perimeter of that hexagon. Now this is a circle of radius one, so this length is one. And because these triangles are equilateral triangles, the length of each one of these sides on the hexagon is equal to the length of the radius of the circle, so the length of these sides each are one. So in this way we are getting we are approximating the circumference of the circle by adding up the uh, six sides of this regular hexagon. Each side has length one, so the six sides of length one give me a perimeter of six. So whereas the circumference of the circle I know to be two pi, I am estimating that by computing the value of six as the, as the perimeter of the hexagon. Now what Archimedes did was he came up with, a, uh, with his formula, his recursion was, he said, well suppose I take my hexagon and I bisect each of these central angles and I uh, look at the point where that bisector intersects a circle and now I make another regular polygon except this will be a 12-sided polygon, go here to here, here to here, and then it would go here here to here, and then here to here, and so on, all the way around. And when I do that, I get 12 sides 
but the length of these sides is no longer one, it's whatever I compute using well-known geometry. Now, if you think about this here, what I have is the length of this side is one, the length of this side is one, okay? I know that this angle here is going to be 30 degrees. I can compute the lengths of this line and this line and this line all by using well-known geometric formulas, uh, primarily uh, application and reapplication of the Pythagorean theorem. So this is what Archimedes does. He get, gives us a, uh, an algorithm to compute the length of this side. Then we take 12 times that length as our estimate for 2 pi. Then we take that divided in half yet again. So now we have side that goes like this, there to there, there to there, and so on. Now we have a 24-sided polygon um, that we, we would use uh, to estimate the circumference of the circle. So if you go through that geometry, which I am not going to, to do, it's, um, it's using standard geometry pretty much. You come up with the formulas uh, that we have written uh, on the homework page. And these are the three formulas, where um, Cn is the length from here to here. This length is, so if this length right here is S0, okay, uh, then I can compute a C0, which is this length, which I get from the Pythagorean theorem, which is where this formula comes from. Then dn is this length, okay? Um, now I know this length is 1 all the way across here, making the distance from here to here a half. I know this length, so I can use Pythagorean theorem again, knowing this length and this length to compute that hypotenuse. Okay, and that is what I'm calling Sn plus 1. So here's what we have. First, we compute Cn using the Pythagorean theorem. Then we compute Dn as 1 minus Cn. So this is 1 minus Cn, which goes from here to here. Give me this length right in here. That's Dn. Okay, then this is Dn. I know this is 1 half. Okay, so that's Sn over 2, or, or S0. Now this length is S0. So S0 over 2 is this length. D0 is that length, so now I compute S1, the, the length of the side for the 12-sided polygon, which is right here. So it's a sequence of formulas where I keep computing the length of sides pretty much by applying the Pythagorean theorem over and over again. So then I get the length of the side for a 12-sided polygon. Then I could estimate 2 pi as being uh, 6 times this length, okay, um, and um, and then I just keep on going. I get the, uh, I after a 24-sided polygon, I do a 48-sided and so on. Archimedes went all the way to a 96-sided polygon. We can go a lot further than that. So what I want to do is take these formulas and I want to um, put them into my spreadsheet. So Here's, my, here's a spreadsheet right, right here. Let me, um, let me expand that out a little bit if I can. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there we go, there. Okay, now, now um, notice that in the homework sheet that I handed out, I called this two to the n minus one, but I decided that my notation there might be a little bit confusing, so I changed it a little bit. So let me show you how I compute these. So I start off a hexagon with side of the hexagon is 1. So I call this S0 is 1. Okay, then I compute Cn using S0 to be 1. So that would make C0 as the square root of 1 minus 1 half squared. So if you put that in your calculator, you'll see this gives me C0. Then I compute D0 to be 1 minus C0. That's at this expression. So that means that this should be 1 minus this. If you add them up, I think it works out. And then finally, using the value of D here and using my value of S, I can compute the next value of S using a Pythagorean theorem with this square root. So this would be S0 over 2 squared 
plus d0 squared, add them up, take the square root, and I get s sub 1. So what I have here is, um, is a spreadsheet which is actually doing that calculation. So this is what this should be s sub 1. So I start off s sub 0 with the hexagon, compute c0, d0, then I compute s sub 1. Now this should be the length of the side for the 12-sided regular polygon that approximates a circle. So if I want to compute the, uh, an estimate for pi, I take this value and I multiply it by 6 to give me that. So if I click on these, you can see exactly what the formulas are. This is S0, which is just given to be 1. Look up here. See, it's 1. C, C0 is this value, which I get by computing this expression. And here's that expression, square root of 1 minus, and you, uh, and you can see that right here, 1 minus this thing over 2 squared. Now D sub n is right here, which is just 1 minus C sub n. 1 minus C sub n, that's 1 minus H2. And now I use this expression right here to compute S sub n plus 1. That's right here. And then I will take 6 times this as my estimate for pi. So using a 12-sided regular polygon to estimate the circle, this is what I estimate the value of pi to be, which is half of the perimeter of the polygon, uh, the 12-sided polygon. Now, I take this value and bring it all the way back, um, uh, this, this value right here for s. I take that over here and I list it as my next guess, which is s1. So this is s0, this is s1. Okay, so this is now just copied of this number. Then I go through my formulas all over again. Here is the formula that gives me c1 now, not c0. This is the formula that gives me d1 right there. This is the formula that gives me s2, which is this computation. And now I have a 24-sided uh, polygon. And 12 times this should give me my estimate for pi. I take this value, bring it all the way in over here, and then I redo it again and again and again. And what I have here is th this number right here is just uh, telling me um, uh, what, uh, giving me a, a value for my index. This is 2 to the 0 power. This is 2 to the first power, where n is 1. This is 2 squared, where n is 2. This is 2 cubed. Okay, so this is the 2 to the n number that we're going down here. And um, so you can see, after a relatively short number of times through the algorithm, we're getting uh, really good estimates for the value of pi. So Archimedes uh, went first with, he did 6, doubled to 12, doubled to 24, doubled to 48, and then to 96. And that's where he stopped. Um, and uh, we can just keep on going if we want. We get a good value for pi. And then on top of that, I just graphed what the estimate for pi is for uh, different values uh, here, uh, for different values of n. So I have, um, and for my first iteration, uh, which is this value, 3.105. So this is my that value, this value right here, then the next value is right here, and then the next value is right here, and then after that, it's getting pretty close into the value of pi. So that's where this spreadsheet comes from. It's a recursive estimation, you know, computing the value of pi using exactly the same technique that Archimedes of Syracuse did um, uh, back uh, in ancient Greece. So this will be my first video on how to solve uh, the first homework assignment uh, for the class coming up on, and this is Tuesday, September the 5th. So this is for the class on September the 7th, which we have decided, I have decided, uh, not to hold class, but to generate a couple of videos instead. So this is the first one, how to compute pi using Excel using Archimedes approach. So with that, um, I'll now record another video to do the next homework problem.